Sector integration is about energy optimization. It's about integrating in together all of the energy sectors in the future. And this takes many different forms. The biggest opportunity for a company like Danfoss is, for example, recovering the heat from cooling for heating. Because the first thing you realize when you approach the electrification of heating with heat pumps is that both cooling and heating are just moving heat. So energy sector integration and optimization is just moving heat from where it's not needed to where it is needed. But that's not the only. The other thing that you recognize is that it's all being driven by the integration of more renewables into the power grid. That results in the opportunity to decarbonize as a result of the electrification of heating, i.e. replacing fossil fuel sources with the electricity produced by renewables and decarbonizing as a result. But the problem that comes with that is that you're now at the mercy of the availability of those same renewables producing that power. So what then becomes really critical is that you levelize that disconnect between supply and demand. And how you do that is by integrating in storage into those solutions as well. Examples of that are the scale of a district energy system itself. That large scale has a built-in storage aspect that isn't present if you have a cooling solution or a heating solution for an individual home. Second is batteries. That's your medium duration. Thermal storage is your short duration. Batteries are your medium duration, four to 12 hours or so. Those become really critical as well. But the inefficiency of batteries takes the form of excess heat produced, which is an opportunity for us also to recover that heat to further electrify the heating system of today. And then finally, you need a long duration and transport electrification as well. And how you do that is with hydrogen electrolysis and fuel cells. Those become critical in the future to decarbonize and electrify and sector integrate that energy system of power, renewable power production and the electrification and decarbonization of transport and long-term storage in general. That same inefficiency though of the electrolysis process and the fuel cell usage also takes the form of heat, which again, it comes back to a significant opportunity for us to recover that heat and utilize to further electrify and decarbonize the heating system of the future.